and I'm back. We'll get started with our hot new makeup. I'm so excited that you're here. I'm sorry about all the internet issues, but I think we have it um, worked out. Oh, there we go. Hi, Leslie. I'm so glad you're here. Well, we'll jump right into that dupe. And the dupe was the new CoverGirl Clean Fresh. This is what the case looks like. And uh, if you look on my hands, I have the Clinique Black Honey. And then the shade for this is Bliss You Berry. Awesome, you can see and hear me, I'm so thankful. I got a workout there, I swear I just burned off 500 calories getting this stream going again. But I love this. This feels just as great as the Clinique, uh, the Black Honey does on the lips. And I think this may even have a little more pigment to it, which is great because that means it's gonna last a little longer on the lips. This is $6.99, this is $20. So I'm so happy about that, that I found this dupe. Just when I saw the color, I had a feeling, you know, you just get that feeling in your gut that this is gonna be a dupe. So I'm gonna buy a couple of these. Now the shades I bought, I can't wait to wear the clear because that's gonna work great for my matte lipsticks that I have that really, um, you know, aren't moisturizing enough. I like to put that on top. And um, yeah, I've got my drink here, <laughs> Debbie. It's just water, but I definitely have had my coffee. Maybe uh, I need another coffee. That's what I think I need. But this one here is I Cherry-ish You. And let me put that on my hand so you can see the difference. That's a real cherry lipstick where you see the the other two, how they have more of a brown berry. So if you've tried the Nivea Blackberry, which I have, I've bought a few of them, and I do love that. That's more uh, mauve, where this one really hits that brown undertone that is in the Black Honey. So that's the first dupe I've ever found that was that exact. So I love it. And since we're talking about hot new makeup, I wanted to share with you, uh, yes, double caffeine, Debbie. I definitely need a double caffeine shot. Have you guys tried these? These are great from Essence. Now they run, I think around three, yeah, three ninety nine. dollars It's really incredible. I bought all of them. And let me start, I'll show you the green. I love these greens because those of you, I would say with brown eyes or with hazel eyes like mine, this will really bring out the green. And look at the pigmentation on these. It's really incredible. Uh, thank you so much, Tricia, for your sweet comment. I really appreciate that look at look at that green this is phenomenal i actually had such a hard time finding these if you go into the store at ulta where they carry them they're always like sold out so ordering them i do have links for everything i'm showing you tonight in the description of the video and of course i do get uh, some commission back on that. So I appreciate you uh, supporting my channel that way. It, it means a lot and it helps me to be able to buy these things myself. And this is beautiful. Now, again, this coral, I think would look great on any shade of eyes. Um, these, incredible. And the lasting power of these, let me use a finger I haven't used, is fantastic. I have worn these and come home after being gone 10 hours and they're still on my eyes. Now this was interesting. This is called Tope It Up, this shade. And I have never used shades this color. I tend to go with warmer shades. My eyes are hazel. They're mostly green with some brown in the center. And I tend to gravitate, especially because of my skin tone, 
to warm shades. Would you let me know in the comments, hey Carla, um, if you like cool tones better or warm tones? Because that'll really help me as I review makeup. I want to make sure I'm not just reviewing a bunch of warm tone makeup because that's what I wear more of. But these shocked me how much I love them on my eyes. I thought they really wouldn't look that good on me. And I ended up loving them. This is a great way to try lots of shades to see what will work on you without a big financial commitment. So yes, Janice is saying she loves the taupe and cool, uh, cool shades. So I'll try to look for more cool shade palettes to show. Now, another one that they had is called Mauve It Up. And I have just loved mauve or mauve my whole life. That is just my go-to shade that I love. And look at these. These are gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to take this shade and look amazing these are $3.99 I like these I would go out on a limb because I love wet and wild but I would say I like these better than some wet and wild palettes even I've had because I feel like the shades are very unique and also up with what's going on on higher end palettes so I'm really happy with these. I think they are such a great find. I sort of held off on getting them and then I got one and saw the quality of it and I went back and got some more. So um, I've really been happy with those. I wanted to mention, yes, great stocking stuffers. And for those two that are experimenting with makeup, maybe some teens that want makeup, you know, I was thinking about this before I came on tonight, and I was thinking about when I started wearing makeup. Would you tell me the age you were when you started wearing makeup? I, my mom would allow me to do some things when I was 12. And I remember getting lots of makeup in my stocking for Christmas when I was 12 years old. And guess what happened? I came home from school and my sister had gotten into all of it. She had just rubbed the shadows. She had destroyed a lot of my makeup. And it was one of those Stella moments. I remember standing in the bathroom screaming, Mom, because she had gotten into my makeup. I see Janice says she was 14. Uh, Classic Beauty says she was 13. And I actually got to wear makeup when I was five because that's when I started dancing and for shows, my mom would put on the makeup. So that was one of the things I always looked forward to when it came to shows was the makeup. So uh, it's so fun to think of those things. And what was the first thing that you were wearing as a teen? Mine was lip gloss. It was that rollerball lip gloss that was clear They've actually brought it back and it was bubblegum flavor. And I think I ate more of it than what was on my lips. It turned into like a lip gloss and a snack all at the same time, but I loved it. So I love like hearing yours officially at 13, Carla says, mother marched me into Merrill Norman on her 13th birthday and said, hook her up with all she needs. I love it. A woman after my own heart. That's fantastic. So a lot of you were around that age between 13 and 16 when you started wearing makeup. My love of makeup started very young. My aunt was a June Taylor dancer on the Jackie Gleason show. And when I was little, I would sit in her room before she would go to the auditorium for the show to film and I would watch her put on her makeup and my favorite was watching the false eyelashes I loved it and she would look at me and say you are a strange kid why do you like watching me put on makeup and she would be playing records she always played music while she was putting on her makeup and do you guys remember the song I dig rock and roll music, that's what was playing in the room. I can feel like I'm there right now. It was amazing. 
And so I want to show you something that's new to me and fairly new that is not drugstore that I'm loving that is eyeshadow and it's the Tartlet Juicy. Have you guys seen this? I am in love. I love the shades. I Tonight for my eye look, I used this row, the row of neutrals. Uh, I figured I was wearing a red top and I like often to go with neutrals when I'm wearing red. And by the way, I did buy this on Amazon. It runs a little big. It's a little larger on me, but are you getting the flash dance vibe? <laughs> Those of you that know me so well know why I bought this top because it gives me that flash dance vibe feel. But I really love this because it has the uh, sort of Charlotte pillow talk kind of shades, then a little warm row, and then the nudes. So this palette for me is pretty perfect. I find that these shadows are very pigmented, blendable. I really love them so much. So it was worth a little bit extra. Now, another palette that I bought is I love Naked 3 and they have the Naked 3 mini and these have unique shades that are not in Naked 3. So don't think it's like an abbreviated cliff notes of Naked 3. It's actually beautiful shades along the same lines of Naked 3 and I actually sort of like this better. I get a little overwhelmed by huge palettes. Do any of you feel that way? Because I get that way. I get a little overwhelmed, so I actually like a smaller palette. And this gives me everything I need to work with. I've been doing some eye looks with it. I love to use this deeper shade as a liner. Now, I brought in a brush. This brush is the most incredible liner brush, and I did not link this. So I'll have to go back later and link it. But this was gifted to me by BK Beauty. But there's something about this liner brush that is magical. I don't know what it is, but I went into this deeper shade tonight, and that's how I did the line here. I just did a line and then used this as liner. So I have no uh, gel liner or anything like that on, just the powder. And I had a question uh, from some of you with deep set eyes like mine asking about ways to make them stand out. And I really like to soften my eyes with, uh, you have that brush, Debbie? Yeah, this is the 208, 208 brush. I just love it. And the thing is too, I like to bring for deep set eyes, bring it up to where you can see it because if I go where my eye actually sinks back, you wouldn't even see anything unless my eye is closed. So when I'm bringing the color up, I bring to where I can see it with my eye open. I find that one of the things that most people don't think about is most of these eye brushes are way too big for our eyes. I know my daughter has smaller eyes uh, and most of the brushes don't work for her eyes. So I like that this liner is so compact and so small. I do more than just line with it. So I do go above and sort of lay the product and then blend it out a little bit. But I'm really loving this Naked 3. This came in a set with a liner and for a little more than the liner, you get both. So you get the Urban Decay Black Liner and this for just a small amount more than you would pay for the liner. So I went for it and I'm really enjoying it. Now something else I wanted to talk about before I forget is, and this isn't hot new, but it's something that I'm really enjoying is this nail polish. I talk about ILNP all the time. Tonight I'm wearing Sweet Pea but this polish lasts beautifully. It doesn't show, uh, I never get chips from it. It wears very gently on the edges, especially when you wear a shade, something like this, that's not quite as bright. This is like a seashell pink, but you can see, I think all the shimmer in it. 
it's just beautiful. I love this polish, so I wanted to share that with you. And then also, these are earrings that I have shown before on my channel, and I have those linked also, but these are fun for the holidays, I thought. And I love pearls. Do you guys like pearls? I really love um, wearing pearl jewelry a lot. I think it's very classic and sort of just elevates a look. Now there's some other new hot makeup I want to talk about and then I'll get to some of the questions that were submitted or all the questions. Uh, one thing are these from L'Oreal. Have you seen these new bombs? These are brand new and they're beautiful. We'll start with this one. This is 160 Cherry Wonderland and I'm going to go ahead and swatch this on my hand so you can see. They're very moisturizing. They do have a little bit of a scent to them, so I wanted to tell you that too. This is 150, which the shade is called Rose Mirage. And I like rose shades a lot. I go with rose, rose shades often. There you go. There's not a whole lot of color to that. There's a lot more punch out of the 160. And then this is 120 blush fantasy and that looks beautiful let me show you here on my hand oh yeah i like that that's really pretty so i'm enjoying these it's not a lipstick it is a balm very moisturizing i know one of my subscribers uh sharon that i talk with a lot she said she had tried them and loved them and asked me if i had tried them and i just purchased them recently and they've just come out at um, Ulta. So I'm really excited about that. Now what I paired it with is something I don't really hear anybody talking about, but these are so inexpensive. Let's see, these are $449 for these liners. LA Girl are masters at lip liners. Have any of you tried uh, their lip liners? They're amazing. Now this one that I have, this is their new Shockwave. And it isn't like the other ones where they um, are retractable. This one you do have to sharpen. But I lined my lips tonight with this. I like these as a lipstick. I have filled in my lips and put a little gloss on top and worn these. These are gorgeous. I'm running out of space here. I'm gonna have to clean my hand, but there you go. That shade is Rosewood, and I think that's beautiful. Now this one I think is Gingerbread, and this one is a great nude. Anytime uh, you want a nude lip liner to go with any, a lot of us wear pinky nude lipsticks, and I tend to use this with a, like a pinky nude. But I've also worn it on its own because I like it so much. So if you haven't tried these, I feel like lip liner is an area in makeup where you can save a lot of money that you don't need. I have tried like these $22, $25 lip liners and I really don't see a difference. And I know at one time Paula Bagone from Paula's Choice, she said that like all these lip liners and eyeliners were made in the same factory. So I don't know if that's still true today, but I remember her saying that, and I'm thinking then why are we paying so much for a lip liner? These are very creamy, smooth, they last. So um, I'm really excited about these. And then another thing that's new that I tried are these from Rare Beauty. I'd heard so much about Rare Beauty and I love cream blush. I feel like it lays perfect on mature skin. It's very youthful looking, very healthy looking. And so I bought a little kit that had three because I wanted to really see how it would look on my skin before I invested in a larger amount. And let's face it, with all the makeup I try, it's hard for me to work my way through a big amount of product anyway. So the shades that were in it, this one is called Peace, and this is a coral. And then you've got Hope and Bliss. I'm wearing Hope tonight. That, let's hope the internet doesn't go out, right? 
I, I am wearing hope tonight. And, uh, oh, Mary Ellen, you're here. Oh, it's so great. To, I'm so excited to see all of you. That's wonderful. Mary Ellen has her own channel. I have known Mary Ellen now seven and a half years. We have both been on YouTube. She started maybe a month or two before I did. I think she started in May and I started in June. So we have collaborated. We've done videos together and she's just amazing. I'm so happy. And uh, Tricia says she hasn't tried anything from LA Girl. You really need to. I would start with the lip pencils. That is probably my favorite thing that they make. Also the pigment, if you have any foundations that aren't the right shade for you, that are too dark, um, I bought the white pigment and just a drop of that and you'll have the perfect shade of foundation. So there's been so many times that I've gotten home, got the wrong shade, I didn't want to take it back and it just sat in my drawer, went bad and ended up in the trash. So once I started using that, it's been a game changer because I have been able to make use of all my products. And I see that Janice says she loves the NYX liners. I love those too, Janice. I've bought so many of those over the years. The thing I like better about the LA Girl is they glide across the lips easier. And they're easier to fill the whole lip in with because they're creamier. The NYX are a little drier formula, which can be a great thing too. But as far as filling in the lips, this I feel like is almost like using a lipstick in a pencil form. So I really like that about it, yet it seems to stay and not move around or get into lip lines. So that is awesome. And Mary Ellen says she, she's never, she never catches a live, so that is fantastic. That's so great. And I want to get to some questions before I get into a few more things. So let me get the questions out here. Trisha asked me, what SPF do I wear? Now, of course, growing up, I was born in Miami, raised in Fort Lauderdale. So I've lived in Florida my whole life. I have used sunscreen since it came out on the market. And uh, that I remember as far back as the of uh, 80s uh, wearing sunscreen whenever they first started coming out with it. Well, my problem is as I've gotten older, my skin has become extremely sensitive. So I can't just pick up any uh, sunscreen at the supermarket and put it on unless I want a full blown rash on my face and chest. Even my arms will get rashy. So it has been a real mission for me to find a sunscreen that would work. This one works great for me, the Biore UV. This was one I think originally Dr. Dre had recommended. I really like her recommendations for sensitive skin. She's pretty spot on for me. If she says it's gonna work, it usually uh, does. And then the Can Make. This is beautiful. This is a mermaid skin gel, and this gives you a beautiful glow under your makeup. What I like about both of these is they do not pill up. I've had so many times when I bought a sunscreen, but then when I go to put the makeup on, the makeup's rolling off. I've got patchy look on my face, and it's just not a pretty thing. So these have worked, they sink into the skin very quickly, they don't dry out my skin, they're very moisturizing. So I'm just happy that um, I've been able to uh, use these and not have a rash or have a reaction because that's a hard thing for me. I see Yvette says, can you recommend an eye primer? Well, I've tried a lot because I cannot use most of them from the drugstore anymore, Yvette. What happens is my eyes look even worse. It seems like whatever's in the primer would just take my eye like this and pretty soon I have all this crepiness I didn't even have to start. So I'm loving one from Gerard Cosmetics. I had that um, in a video recently, maybe even in the live last week. 
that is very creamy, very moisturizing. Another one that I've talked about recently I love is from Gabriel Cosmetics. That I also purchase off Amazon. I keep that in my store too because it's very creamy, moisturizing, yet will hold on to the shadows and doesn't make my eyes look crepey. Another thing I've been loving is I've gone back to Painterly from MAC. They're paint pots. For a while, I stopped using them because they just seem to be drying out my lids, but I don't know if they've done something magical to the formula or if it's just me, but now they seem to work great. So I've been sort of back into the MAC train and I love the Painterly. That holds on to the shadows really well and also brightens the eye. And as a matter of fact, I wanna tell you a trick for all of you watching about Painterly that is, I remember hearing a long time ago and using this trick and I'm back on it. It is a great concealer. If you're like me and you have like little veins around the nose, broken capillaries, I could get those zapped, but you know what? It's gonna happen, they're gonna come back. That's just a weakness in that area for me. And so I just take some of the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC and put it over it. It works better than any concealer. It holds so well. So you can do that. I sometimes uh, you know, use it in the inner outer corner like you would a concealer and it brightens the area, but it seems to last much better than most concealers do. So Janice says, I use MAC all the time. It is amazing. So I'm very happy Ulta is carrying MAC now. It makes it a lot more easy to get a hold of or order when I'm placing an Ulta order. So that is wonderful. And another question from um, Mama Nothing. She asked me about fragrances and I rarely talk about fragrances because I really don't feel like much of an expert in that area. I'm not someone that can tell you all the notes and all of that musical notes, yes. Fragrance notes, no. But I brought some that I love to show because she asked me to. This I'm crazy about, I showed earlier in a video. This is from Moroccan Oil. This is their new fragrance that you can spray on your body and in your hair. Now when I bought this, I thought it was just for the body. You love that smell you're gonna go crazy for it. Now, the one negative is it's not super long lasting, but I am crazy about this. I can't get enough of it, and it comes in a smaller size. So if you're not sure if you're gonna like it or not, they have one size, I think that's like $18. Uh, yes, and one. this is $32 for this size. I knew I was gonna love it, so I just bought the full size, but they have a smaller one for 18, so if you're unsure or on the fence, I would get that one. Now, along that lines, I purchased this on my 50th birthday, and as a gift to myself, and now I've bought another one. They've come out with a smaller size. This, I believe, is the smaller size. Again, I love that companies are doing that because when you like to try a lot of things, we really don't need these big gulp size products, you know? So this is their body oil. This, again, is the Moroccan oil, but you spray it on. Now, this you cannot spray on your clothes or you will have an oil spill on your clothes. So you want to rub this in and put this on before you get dressed. But this is also a real winner that I love so much. And that's very long lasting because of it being an oil. That one, it's nice to even layer them. I like to layer them, put the oil on and then put on the perfume. Now I have to say, this is probably one of my favorites. I know some people don't like sweet smells. This is like so sweet. It's sort of vanilla caramel scent. Have any of you ever tried pink sugar? This has been a long favorite of mine for many years and a Mother's Day present for my daughter several times over. But um, this is one that I really love, pink sugar. As you can see, I'm about to run out of it and hopefully I'll get some for Christmas. 
And the last one I wanted to share is very new to me. This is from the uh, same company that makes the Boom Boom Cream. Now everybody says Bum Bum Cream, but really it's Boom Boom Cream. And this is called Coco Cabana. And again, you can get this in a smaller size. It's just beautiful. I love that, um, you know, summer scent. This really, to me, says summer in a bottle. So this is another one. I tend to go more in a perfume towards sweet or also towards, um, well, sweet mainly. Let's just say sweet or beachy one of the two so that's more of what i'm into for perfume not as much the florals but i do love florals but that's what i tend to buy now let's go on to we i had a couple other questions i wanted to answer and then i have a little bit more makeup a really great blush to show you um, janice asked how to bring out deep set eyes and so I want to talk about that for a second. Again, what I mentioned earlier is when you have deep set eyes like mine or even hooded eyes also, you need to make sure when you're looking in the mirror, at least this is what I do, that I'm going above where when my eye is open, the shadow is going to show. And I try to not over accentuate the crease to bring more color up here because I already have a deep, deep crease. I don't need to make it that much deeper. Also, what I have found, uh, Janice, is that you can bring out the eyes a lot through the liner. And again, I'm really into powder liner. You can even use a little uh, water to make the powder more intense or a setting spray when you're doing the line, but I think that's a wonderful way to bring out the eyes, is to focus more color and interest on the liner itself. And I find that powder liner looks so much softer on the eyes than a uh, liquid liner or maybe even a coal liner if you're looking for a softer look to the eyes. And again, I think when you have deep set eyes, curling those lashes really helps. That's why I love the heated curler so much. I feel like it's brought my eyes forward. And so there's a lot you can do with deep set eyes. Uh, it's fun to play around with different colors. What I have enjoyed more the last few months is again, what I was saying on one of my videos is find more of a mid-tone, okay? Like say maybe this shade here and really just blow that out. Even one shade can look beautiful and then use a deeper shade for the liner. That will make the eyes not quite be quite as deep set, sort of bring them out more, yet get that color you're looking for. So I think that's great. Tanya, what I have on my lips is a little bit of Clinique Black Honey and then also the cover girl that I found that's the dupe that's Bliss You Berry. And I really love this. As a matter of fact, let me put a little bit more on. Beautiful gloss to it. This is $6.99. And like I said, the Black Honey, which is one of my favorites, is $20. So what's great is you can throw one in your purse, have one at home, and I really love that. Now when you look at them, they do look pretty much the same when you look at them here. And then let me put them, I'll find a, let me wipe my hand off here so you can see a little better. I want to show you this swatch again because it's really beautiful. What I like about this that is so different about the CoverGirl than the Nivea Blackberry everybody talks about is the Blackberry doesn't have much brown in it. And this from Clinique has more brown. So you can see here how these look. Let me put a little bit more. I put a lot of the Clinique Black Honey so you can see, but look at these. They're amazing. It's an amazing dupe and it's a texture dupe. It feels the same on the lips, and I really feel like it's about the same longevity. Hey, Jen, it's great to see you here. And thank you, Tanya. I, I really love it. Can you believe it's $6.99? That's incredible. Now, I want to talk about a blush 
that's inexpensive that is what three dollars and that's the bite size from elf have you all tried these these are beautiful i've been trying some of the shades of this one is pomegranate and the highlighter i thought i wouldn't like it looked like it was going to be a bit much for me but i actually love it it's much more subtle than what it looks in the pan so i'm going to do a little bit on my fingers so you can see the blush shade and then the highlighter but it looks beautiful on the skin. I'm not wearing it right now because I wore the Rare Beauty. I wanted you to see the, um, the shade I'm wearing, Hope. These are just gorgeous and they blend. I'm gonna just swatch that so you can see. It almost feels like you're putting a lip gloss on, but these blend very easily into the skin. And for me, longevity is always a problem. Sometimes I'll put blush on the morning, come home from work, and it's gone. But this lasts. It really stays on. So I think of any, uh, when you read the reviews about Rare Beauty, the blush is one that really stands out for people liking it. They've been very happy with it. So that's why I ordered them. They came in a little set and well worth it. Now I wanna talk about a bronzer. Do you all like bronzer? I have become very dependent on bronzer. For years I didn't wear it and then all of a sudden, what got me started was Flower Beauty, that heat wave bronzer. I saw, wow, it's subtle, it warms up the face. I always thought some of the bronzers just looked too fake on me and I didn't like the look. I was like overdone for what I need for wearing out to work. Uh, but I wanted to try some of the Huda products because I've heard so much about her brand. She's beautiful. And I just wanted to see how it would look on me. So I bought the bronzer and that's what I'm wearing tonight. I love it. It's so subtle, so build, uh, buildable, finely milled. It's just all the buzzwords fit this product. And so I'm going to show you a little bit. You just swirl it and look at the shade it is. It's so unique. It goes on uh, very light. Like you think there's not going to be much to it. Like when I brush it on my hand, you can just see it very slightly. But that's really what you want. You don't want to go in where you get so much product and then you're blending and blending and then pretty soon it's into your foundation and it's changed the shade of your foundation. So I have found through trial and error that the lighter, finely milled products are the ones that look the best on me, look the most natural or the easiest to work with. So I am loving this. This is definitely a hot new makeup product. I'm sure she's gonna do very well with this. I also have her blush and it's amazing too. Same formula, but in a blush. So I wanted to talk about a couple more things tonight. One is what I'm wearing for foundation. Now this isn't really a hot new product, but it's hot new to me. So I wanted to include it. It's the Estee Lauder, their Futurist Hydra Rescue. Have any of you tried this one? I'm gonna look in the comments now and take a, a breather and see. Oh, I see that Brandy uh, just bought the Huda bronzer. I hope you love it as much as I do. And I see a lot of you do use um, bronzer. Yeah, I don't know about the sale of lipstick. I know that still people want something on their lips. That would drive me crazy not to have lip product. I'm looking at what Debbie said about um, have sales drop for lipsticks. I bet they've gone up for lip balms. And that's maybe why L'Oreal came out with that balm with some color. Because most of us are so used to having something on our lips, we feel that our lips are dry during the day or just feel so bare without something on them. So yes, I will try for more dupes. Dupes are so hard because I never want to show them unless I feel 100% that this is going to be amazing and everyone's going to be happy. 
And so it takes a long time and a lot of trial and error to find these dupes, but as soon as I do, I will definitely share them with you. And I see Karen says she likes the Estee Lauder Foundation. I like this much better than the um, Estee Lauder that I've used in the past because this is so moisturizing. It blends out. It just really gives a nice glowy look to the skin without being too glowy. And um, I see uh, Debbie says she's in a desert climate and needs more moisture always. Yes, and uh, I find as I've gotten older too, my lips are drier and I try to drink my water, as you see here, <laughs> to keep hydrated. Uh, but still, I feel like um, I just don't feel right without some kind of lip product on. Oh, I see Liz just bought the Futurist and loves it. Well, that's great. I'm in the shade 3N1 Ivory Beige. This actually is a little deeper than what I would like. The next time I buy it, I might buy it down a little bit but it's great for camera because these lights really wash you out. So I actually think this is a great shade for when I'm filming, but for my everyday, it's maybe a little deeper, especially in the winter time when I'm not outside that much. Um, yes, uh, for me, the double wear got very drying. I couldn't wear it anymore. I just didn't like the look on my face. I loved it when I first bought it, but as I went through menopause and my skin started changing, I noticed that it just didn't look that great on me anymore. So, you know, we have to keep adjusting. But I see, yes, it says Estee Lauder was too drying. Uh, Deborah says, Elf is great and Believe Beauty at Dollar General. Yes, I have a drawer full of Believe Beauty. I like their makeup too, Deborah. I've bought a lot of it. The lipstick is really great. You don't hear them. Uh, many people talk about the Dollar General Believe Beauty lipstick, but I really like it. I wish they'd come out with more shades. They have a sort of a limited shade range and they've kept the same range since they started their brand, I wish they would add some to it because I really like the formula. So let's see what else we've got here. Um, I did want to answer a couple of, I have maybe two more questions. Uh, PB asked me today, what about brown mascara for deep set eyes? Well, recently by accident, I bought brown mascara and I started putting the mascara on and it, my eyes just look so tired <laughs> and I thought what is going on with this and it was brown so I still feel uh, that black mascara is the best I usually go for the blackest mascara that I can get and uh, because my lashes are light my lashes really aren't that dark and if I don't put a dark enough uh, shade on them they don't stand out I just try to keep them not clumpy and sort of feathery and build very slowly I do love the cover girl the clean mascara I talked about in the live stream last week with a primer that's really helped but I am just not a fan of brown mascara I just don't think it helps my deep set eyes any if anything it makes me just sort of look tired so that's where i am with that and brandy says have you tried the new chanel i have not i have never tried a chanel foundation so um maybe that's something i need to do i had a question about that i think it was from you brandy it was in the comments the other week about it. have I tried it and I have never tried it. Maybe that needs to be on my bucket list for makeup. I sort of in my mind have a makeup bucket list. Do any of you have that? Those products that you've never tried that you've heard all these people talk about and rave about that you hope one day you will try. I sort of have that in my mind. So um, next question I wanted to answer 
was not about makeup, but it's a question I've had quite a bit. Diane sent me a question today and said about what I eat in a day and my exercise routine. So that's what I'm gonna talk um, briefly, briefly about. I really never wanna talk about nutrition because I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a doctor, so I never want to give advice to people about eating. But I will say this, about uh, two years ago, I had a terrible outbreak of a rash and figured out myself after a couple of doctor's appointments, I was the one that figured out I had a reaction to dairy. So I had to cut dairy out. And when I did, I drink almond milk, coconut milk, those things. I found I felt a lot better and my skin started to improve. Now, at the beginning of when everything started with us staying home, at that point, I was pretty stressed out uh, as far as not uh, teaching from the house and worrying about my students and all of that. So I was like popping jelly beans and that kind of thing. And I just kept feeling worse and worse. And I said, I've got to do something. My skin wasn't looking good. I wasn't feeling good. And I said, I'm going to get off sugar, which is saying a lot, or at least try to limit my sugar because I just felt like it was having an effect on me, sort of like the dairy was. So as far as my diet, I would say I'm limited sugar. I definitely don't totally eliminate it. I try to eat healthy, eat greens, uh, lean meat, those kinds of things. And as far as exercise, I do the best I can. Uh, you know, there's times during the school year when things are so hectic that my exercise is standing up all day, teaching and moving around. There's other times when it's calmer and I do a four mile walk every day. So it's a struggle I've had my whole life to balance work the energy to do the stuff at home, work, my job, and fit in a workout. And I used to do it in the morning, but now I'm doing a lot of YouTube stuff in the morning before I go to work. So I'm just really trying to navigate all that. In the summer, it's not a problem. I get out and walk every day, but I do fidget. And I think that helps a lot. If I'm, what I mean by that is if I'm watching TV, I'm pumping weights. I'll have weights out in the living room while I'm watching a show. So I'm sort of multitasking. If I'm watching a movie, I'm doing leg lifts or something. So I squeeze my workouts in while I'm doing other things. So I hope that was helpful. And uh, the earrings, I love these. These are the um, thread earrings. I bought these on Amazon and I have them linked. All the links for everything I've shown tonight are in the description of the video and I appreciate you for supporting my channel that way. These are tw I think $29.99 around that and I love them. They're so easy to put in. I'll show you how quick and easy. They have the thread but they have this on the end here like you would a regular post on an earring and then it comes in this is the part that hooks in your ear and then a pearl on it and they just go right in through the ear like a regular earring and come through that's it i was a little afraid at first that they would be hard for me to put in but they're really easy and did i use a curling iron today uh, monique says i did and i have a great hair product I'm going to share with you all soon, a gel that I used a while back and I don't know why I ever stopped. And that's all I have in my hair, one product, which is pretty amazing. And I took a wand that goes to a point, I have it in my Amazon store, probably in the section where it says Laura's Lifestyle, but I just take the wand, wrap it around, hold it release and then just drop the curl and I really don't touch the hair much once I curl it. I just sort of pat it down and just make sure I've covered everything, all the curls and that's it. It takes me maybe five minutes to do my hair. So it's pretty easy. I don't even have hairspray in it. With this product that I'm using, I'll share with you soon. Um, 
I don't even have to use hairspray. So that's really great. And um, yeah, I would say stick with black. Hello, Rana Lynn, she's in Hawaii, all the way in Hawaii. Where are you all? I would love to hear where you're at because it's just so interesting. Last week we had a subscriber in our community here from Sweden. That was mind blowing to me and um, awesome. And I will have the video coming soon with my hairstylist, Amber. That's something I'm working on that's on the way. So um, thank you so much, Lee. Uh, used to use, uh, yes, castor oil. I have that, I showed that in a video recently. Uh, that is the Kate Blanc is the one. And I think that was maybe two videos ago I talked about that. I used the castor oil on my brows, I take my finger, I put a drop here, of course, wash my hands first, and I put one drop. I take that, rub the fingers together, rub the brows back and forth, I really massage it in. Then I take one more drop between the two and I massage the eyelashes. And it's great. I have, there's been other things I've used, other oils and stuff that have made my eyes foggy where they really bothered me. But for some reason that uh, castor oil does not, and what I like about the Cate Blanc more than other brands I've tried, it's very thin. Some that I've bought have been like molasses, just too, too thick. So this works great on the eyes. I really love it. And my lashes are getting healthier. They look longer. When I curl them, I see them touching higher up on my brow bone. And my brows seem to be getting a little thicker too. So I really like that. It's like $8.99. So it's really uh, very cheap. Hello, Phyllis. She's in Texas. Great to see you, Phyllis. That's wonderful. And Kentucky, Tanya's in Kentucky. I love Kentucky and we're really thinking about Kentucky with everything that's been going on there. Um, awesome. I would enjoy a good DIY uh, beauty products you enjoy. Um, awesome, well, I'll work on that for sure, Ronalyn. That sounds great. Now I'm trying to see before we wrap up if there's anything that I missed out on. Um, again, all the links for everything will be in the description of the video. And um, again, I apologize for the tech issues at the beginning, but I'm glad we got to have our time together that it all worked out. And uh, I just hope you all have an amazing holiday season. I am planning a Christmas Eve live stream. Uh, I'm not sure about the time yet. I will let you know that. I know so many people will be at home and I thought let's, um, you know, spend some time together and that that would be great. I have a video coming out Saturday that I'm really excited about and um, just lots of makeup in that. So I hope you'll tune in and some skincare. I have some skincare that's so inexpensive that I've been wowed by recently for wrinkles. So I'm very, anytime I find anything that fills up fine lines and helps with that, I mean, that's just makes me so happy to be able to share that. And the product that I wanna share, I think has like a $7 price point. So that's pretty, pretty amazing. Um, any other questions before we close tonight? Oh, thank you for coming, Rana Lynn. I thank all of you. It's just wonderful to be with you ladies. You're so special, all of you. Um, this has been incredible being able to spend time with you. You are so much more of a blessing to me than I could ever be to you. So I appreciate you taking your time and spending this time with me here on YouTube. It means the world to me. So this was so much fun, Brandy. I'm glad you could come. Ronnie, thank you for coming tonight. I love all of you and I hope you have a blessed and beautiful week and I'll see you on Saturday.